Now this is an Estado tilapia species of cichlid, which is a very old world of the African cichlids. Um, most of your African cichlids in Australia are from Malawi and then Tanganyika. And this particular one is from Lake Victoria. This is the one in Australia we call this flameback, though it's probably not actually flameback, but that's what we call them in Australia. And they're quite an aggressive fish, very, very prolific breeders. And you really want to have as many females per pot per male as possible, or as, uh, keep them in a really busy, busy tank because they really can be quite aggressive. Is there any flameback females in here? No. Oh, no. One there. Yeah, there is one directly below. Oh, yeah, two. Yeah, there is two. So. I don't agree with you, they're being aggressive. So you're finding this guy's not that aggressive? No. Yeah, cool. Yeah, they're commonly very aggressive, but put in a tank like this, they're often actually not all that aggressive. Yeah, there's the female there. I put them in a small tank with crimson tides and they don't fight at all. Yeah, right. Well, crimson tides are supposedly exactly, the, well, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, two of them don't fight. They're just, they're just colours. So the ones that we call crimson tides are actually zebra obliquidin. Very similar type fish. Which, once again, a lot of people experience to be quite aggressive. But not necessarily. As we fish, the more you learn about them, the more you realise that they all just do what they want to do. So that fella there, Stata tilapia, often known as a nerii. And the zebra obliquidin, which in Australia we call a crimson tide. Where's the, where's the crimson tide, Paul? I'm trying to find it. There's a female. I can't find this bloody fish. It's cool when you're making a video about the fish and then you can't find the bloody fish. A normal person would delete this video and start again, but not me. All my videos are first take. There's a crimson tide there. The zebra obliquidum. Also a Lake Victorian fish. Very, very easy to breed. Can be quite aggressive in a small tank. Anyway, if you have any, any experience with these fish, then put a little note at the bottom of this video.